Josh Grisby, a featherweight veteran of the UFC and several other professional MMA promotions, was supposed to be a top contender for the UFC featherweight title. However, in 2014, he was convicted on 25 counts of domestic assault and gun charges. One of the charges was even linked to Grisby using his pet pit bull to attack his wife. What forced Grisby to commit such heinous crimes? And why has he since disappeared from the UFC? Let's find out. Before we start, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Grisby was somewhat a mischievous individual from an early age as he was kicked out of numerous schools and even a paintball facility before venturing into mixed martial arts when he was 13 years old. He would first train at South Shore Sport Fighting and later progress in New Hampshire after winning local tournaments while often being the youngest competitor. After beginning his career in 2006 and going 10 to 1 in smaller promotions, Grisby was signed by the WEC and made his professional debut against Mark Hominick at the WEC 32 and would begin to showcase why he was one of the best wrestlers in MMA. Grisby managed to defeat Mark Hominick in the first round for a rear naked choke submission, his next biggest fight against former UFC lightweight champion. Jens Pulver would have a similar outcome as he won the fight via guillotine choke submission only 33 seconds into the fight. A year later, he would face L.C. Davis at the WEC 49. And just like his former opponents, Grisby would submit Davis by a guillotine choke submission only 2 minutes and 33 seconds into the first round, even earning the submission of the night honours. But sadly, this would be the best we would see from Josh Grisby's fighting career. After Grisby signed with the UFC in 2010, he would lose 4 consecutive fights and consequently would be dropped from the UFC in 2013. In just under 2 years, Grisby's career had plummeted, but this wouldn't be the last we would hear from him. In August 2004, the former UFC fighter would be arrested in what one police officer would dub the worst case of domestic violence he'd ever seen. Police from Middleborough County were first called to Grisby's home on August the 1st, 2014, in response to Grisby's mother-in-law visiting a police station with images of her daughter, which she had shown evidence of domestic abuse. At Grisby's home, police interviewed his wife, Caitlin Grisby, and searched the premises. Around the house, they found three handguns, two rifles, and an assault rifle, all of which were improperly stored. Grisby was also deemed to be lacking the correct licenses to own the firearms. After the visit, police booked Grisby on one count of domestic assault, battery, and an array of gun charges. Once Grisby was arrested, Caitlin Grisby obtained an emergency restraining order against Grisby. Grisby would later post bail and be released from jail. Caitlin Grisby would then decide not to extend the restraining order against him, stating that she thought Joshua would be better. And yet, three days later, police were called to Grisby's home again after a 911 call was made by Grisby's neighbour. The neighbour had been sheltering Caitlin Grisby after she escaped a brutal attack at the hands and feet of her husband husband as well as his dog. The incident allegedly began when Grisby grew angry over not being able to find a pile of wood. In fear of what her husband might do, Caitlin Grisby fled the home and hid underneath a bush. However, Grisby noticed her and grabbed her before punching her in the head repeatedly, forcing her back into their home. Once inside, the attack continued with Grisby yelling, do you want me to kill you? He then set his dog, a pit bull, onto Caitlin, which bit her repeatedly on the leg. He was also known to choke his dog unconscious after such an attack. Caitlin was eventually able to escape their home and made it to their neighbour's house, where the 911 call was made. During the incident, Grisby's two young children were with their maternal grandparents. Police arrested Grisby and charged him with assault, battery and a number of other offences. He also faced charges in relation to his conduct while incarcerated. After five hours of jury deliberation, he was found guilty on seven counts of improper storage of a firearm, five counts of assault and battery, two counts of threatening to commit a crime, eight counts of witness intimidation, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute malicious damage to a motor vehicle, and attempt to procure perjury. For the litany of offences, the district attorney's office requested eight to ten years in state prison. However, the judge dispensed the sentence of five and a half years in prison and five years probation. The most bizarre aspect of this case would appear during Caitlin Grisby's appearance on the American talk show Dr. Phil, where she talked about the domestic violence between her and her ex-husband Grisby. When they were still together, Caitlin apparently believed their house in Massachusetts was haunted. After the former owner of the house died and after finding baby jars filled with hair and papers with names on them in the basement. 
Josh kept telling me to ignore the house being haunted and I couldn't, Caitlin said. It became an obsession. Josh had good reason to hit me. I wouldn't stop talking about the ghosts. What I thought is maybe whoever died in the house was having an impact on my husband because he was doing strange things that he normally wouldn't do, Caitlin said. So what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think Ghost really made Grisby attack his wife and perhaps maybe affected his career? Let me know in the comments and be sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you guys later.